So let's start with the kick. First of all, what note we're going to use? What key? Uh, let's go for F, not too high, not too low. Uh, F is always good for dance music. What I'm looking for while doing a kick, I'm really looking for fullness. For me, it's very important that kick does have a full kind of covering full spectrum uh, of frequencies from low to high. That uh, makes a sense that kick is really big for me. I really like this kind of sound. That makes a sense that kick is really big and uh, it works really well. And also, I'm not using short kicks. I'm using not using like 116 kicks, for instance. I'm more into using longer kicks and doing cool side chain and phase alignment where the sub bass of the kick have a nearly um, nearly easy to he hearable note of what we're doing. So for instance, here it's F and I want to hear this F in the sub of my kick. That is really important for me. Usually my kick is around 200 or something like this. So what you hear now, you hear this F in a sub and I don't want to lose it. I really like it. I like how it, like your kick already defines a kind of a scale, a key you're using. When you hear a key in your kick, I, I like this. So the length, more or less, like this. As you as you see, it's not short. It's really it's really long, and it does have a fat tail. A fat tail for me is very very important. I really like the fat tail of the kick, and to reduce the clash between um, low frequency part of the bass. Uh, we will use a multiband sidechain afterwards. Sounds better. I will also save it. To do. So as you can see, it's covering a lot of the spectrum and I really like it and you can hear it. It's like it does have a click. It does have a dip in the middle here to reduce this boxiness and have more of a deep feeling. Let's give it a little bit of drive to get some warmth. Also, I will put, a, of course, a hi-hat on the top. You can also, if you want, a more 
EDM -y kind of sound. You can always just, you know, um, cut the attack here and put here another kind of, uh, for instance, let me let me show you, for instance, some house click. You can put some, some house click. And you know, adjust it somehow if you want this kind of feeling. But this is for different kind of stuff. I would like to do really psychic today. So I'm just taking a high hat. Oh, let's find a good one. And place it on top of the kick. Even here, while putting a hi-hat on the kick, you can hear it after some time. But look at the spectrum. You can see this high, you can see this high frequency bump coming from hi-hat. I like it to be more flat. I know when there is flat and more information in, instead of peaking comes, that means and mixing is going better in phase and this actually sounds better and if i flip the phase with this button with the hi-hat you see there is a different result i will also uh, try to move this starting point and we will reach the point where the the hi-hat will appear as a small shelf here and will make more information without picking Okay, sounds not bad. We'll fix kick later a little bit, a little bit more. But for right now, for begin, it's pretty nice. I would just, I would like maybe to make it a little bit less boxy. Yeah, kind of deeper feeling. Okay, that's not bad. 